Hello, everybody! Welcome to Frontier Friday! Hello! Hello to everybody in the chat! Hello to Slax, and SummerB76, and Pixie Cow, and Electric Dragon UK. Thank you for the subscription. Speaking of which, Slax is nearly four, straight years, or four years straight subscribed. Thank you very much. That's very, very amazing. Uh, hello, Winfrey1, and Cregan, and Pixie, no, I said Pixie Cow already. Well, hello again, Pixie Cow. Double hello since you weren't here on Wednesday. And hello, Keglunek1103, first time chat. Hello. Uh, and hello, A Maple Mystery. And hello, Davor and Neviklink. Wow, we got a lot of people today. That's great. All right, so hi. Uh, normally at this time on Fridays, I'm usually talking to my composer and uh, we're giving each other updates, but we didn't particularly have anything to talk about this week, so I decided, you know what? I'm gonna do a stream. And not only am I gonna do a stream, because I've been animating, and I've been animating the same character for the past three days, so I wanna take a break from doing that, so I thought, well, you know what? Let's add, let's edit some voiceover. Let me uh, switch over to the chat on my phone so that I can actually see it because I'm going to need my second monitor to look at the script. Uh, where am I? My channel. Here we go. My channel. Chat. <laughs> Excuse me. Just plug this in so that the phone stays on. And there we go. All right. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I hope everybody's having a nice Friday so far. I'm going to turn off the synth wave here because I need silence to edit. And I'm going to turn the desktop audio up to 2.8, minus 2.8 decibels. I'm going to have gold wave here. And I am going to be editing, as I mentioned on t Mentally Checked Out Friday. Oh no, hiccups? Do you have the hiccups? I don't have the hiccups. I was just burping because I just had a little snack. I was That's why I started a little later, because I was rushing to eat my snack. No, I, I probably just burped or maybe I did hiccup but I don't have like chronic hiccups I just uh, <clears throat> just had a little snack um, but thank you for your concern <laughs> anyway uh, yeah so I have a character that I have started editing but I need to continue editing and that is Captain Boylan played by Roger Clark who you may know as Arthur Morgan from Red Dead 2. So we're going to have a little Arthur Morgan, well, not Arthur Morgan, we're going to have a little Roger Clark voiceover editing session. So I believe... Can I help you with something? Yeah, there we go. All right, I've already done the processing and the editing and everything, so I just need to go ahead and... Uh, and do that! Uh, let me play that again to make sure that you can hear it. Can I help you with something? Yeah, let me turn it up just a Can bit. I help you with something? There we go. Alright, so I believe those lines... Can I help you with something? I believe those are already in the game. Let me just take a quick look at Speech Center to see what I've already imported. And what I have not. Uh, Captain Boylan... Show duplicates off. File status exists. I think I've only... Yeah, I've only, <laughs> I've only imported three lines. Penultimate volume, good. Was it too much the last time? I'll set it back to 2.8. There we go. Alright, so I've only imported three. Is that the voice actor of Arthur Red Dead Redemption 2? Yes, Neviklink. This is Roger Clark. He was the first actor we recorded almost exactly one year ago. We started with him on September 16th, and at the time I was like, oh, we'll get this done in two weeks, and I'll have the game out by early next year. Ha ha ha, how wrong I was. Anyway, um, but we had a lot of fun. Uh, this is a 60-minute session here, so we're not going to get through it all today, but we'll what try our best. God's green earth are you doing out here in this squall, young lady? Yeah, I mean, it started that long ago, but it hasn't been... It's There have been large gaps in between, obviously. We actually got the bulk of the recording done September... Well, September, October last year with a couple of sessions in November, and then we took a pause for a while. 
Um, and I actually have the last two sessions scheduled for next week, Tuesday and Thursday. So that's with our main character, uh, Maya. So that'll be fun. Uh, flashback to, to black and white also hello casey adventure flashback to black and white grundy laughing to himself i should get this done by early next year I, I have said that like two years in a row but this time i'm confident because compared to the amount of work that i have left to do compared to then is significantly less all right what on god's green earth are you doing out of here in this squall young lady well it's not <laughs> well it's not but how many are you okay Coming 2022. Yeah, no, I, th I thought it was coming 2021. Well, it's not. All right. So let's uh, do our little maximum. Well, it's not. All right. Uh, where's my rhubarb folder? Here's my rhubarb folder. Okay, so we're saving this as boil 178. So Captain Boylan is an old sea captain, which means I told I told Roger to play up his native Irish accent. He's an old Irish sea captain, so he's basically a cross between an old whaler and Irish and some element of Arthur Morgan, I guess. It's Boylan, B-O-Y-L-A-N. You can see here, Capt Boylan. Boy land. Think of a boy that goes to a land party. <laughs> I have learned from watching game dev streams to just spit on people asking for a release date. Yes. As I tweeted somewhat passive aggressively a while ago, I was like, you know, game devs really love to tell you when their game's release date is. And I meant that in all sincerity. Like, yes. So, to the people who are like, is there a release date? You know, you can say, well, if you haven't heard it from me, then no. There isn't. But how many are ye? Alright, how many are ye? Ooh, what was that? But how many are ye? I don't like it when I hear mysterious error noises. That was an AGS. I'll minimize AGS. Anyway. But how many are ye? Well then, go fetch him. Well, then, go fetch him. <laughs> I won't have you blow away on me. I've got a release date for you, the 35th of February, air horn sound effect. Yes. I am just a wee bit root beer lad. Okay. Well then, go fetch him. Alright. I had Roger do two takes because this was the very first session we did and I was like I can have people do two takes I should have had him do singles because he was he was good enough to do singles but whatever it's fine two takes is always good insurance but it's also more editing well then go fetch him right. I won't have you blow away on me porch and you'll be keeping an old man company I won't have you blow away on me porch, and you'd be keeping an old man company. All right. So long, uh, so long as you're not. Let's do uh, a Franken take there, because I liked these two different. I won't have you blow away on me porch, and you'd be keeping an old man company. Right. I won't have you blow away on me porch. And you'll be keeping an old man company. I won't have you blow away. There's a little at the beginning. I won't have I won't have you blow away on me porch. I see it there. And I won't I won't have you blow away. Sorry. <laughs> I hate that. I hate when I have to listen to something over and over and over again on stream. Anyway, also hello between the borders. <coughs> uh well, one eight one Yes. Uh, better more editing and better voice acting than being limited to a single recording that might end up not being right. That's true, yes, but of course, um, 
with a lot of the people I worked with on this game, I realized that they did it in one take and it was perfect because, you know, some of some of these actors had, like, decades of experience, so it's like, you know, they'll get it in one. So, so, long, uh, so long as you're not bandits or thieves, are you? So long as you're not bandits or thieves, are you? So long as you're not bandits or thieves, are you? Uh, okay. Did we tell him? Then we'll be getting along just fine. <laughs> then we'll be getting along just fine. Now, get your folk in here quick, before we all get... W Which one do I like better? Then we'll be getting along just fine. That's good. Now, get your folk in here quick, before we all get whisked to King- The first one was a little too... jolly. And he's not jolly. Then we'll be getting along just fine. Okay. Now, get your folk in here quick, before we all get whisked to Kingdom Come. <laughs> now, get your folk in here quick! Before we all get whisked to wick- Fucking hell. <laughs> now get your folk in here quick, before we all get whisked to kingdom come. Now get your folk in here quick, before we all get whisked to kingdom come. Okay. Your folk, your folk. He did say f he did say fuck in the other- in the outtake, or- Now get your folk in here quick, before we all get whisked to king- Now get your folk in here quick, before we all get whisked to wick- Fucking hell. Now, now get your folk in here quick before we all get whisked to Kingdom Come. Now get your folk in here quick before we all get whisked. Now get your folk in here quick before we all get whisked to Kingdom Come. I like that first one better. Now get your folk in here quick before we all get whisked to Kingdom Come. Good job, Twitch. Actually, I don't have Automod on, so you can say whatever you like. All right, we're getting a little louder, then a bit of more room volume. Okay. Aye. Aye. Okay. That'll be time for trading tales soon enough. Aye. Okay. Aye. Aye. Aye, 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 aye. Well, now we go back to one. Good old script being out of order. There'll be time for trade and tail soon enough. There'll be time for trade and tail soon enough. For now, I'll be needing some assistance. Okay, cool. I like this. There'll be time for trade and tail soon enough. Oh my god. Wow, Neviclink. That is a hell of a plan. Alright, everybody. Neviclink has redeemed much as terrible plan. So, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get that happening. Give me one second. I gotta, I gotta queue up much. Uh, I feel like I should probably put on, like, some Conquest of the Longbow music in the background while that happens. So let me go and queue that up as well. Uh, if there is in fact a Conquest of the Longbow soundtrack, which there should be. Conquest of the Longbow OST. FYI, don't leave outtakes with profanity in the game unless you declare it in the ESRB or equivalent that seems to have caused problems for a game on Switch. Interesting to know. Thank you, Between the Borders. I don't believe I have any but I will definitely do uh, a second uh, check. I don't recall if Lamplight City has any because... Uh, oh. Okay, here we go. Alright, there. The scene is set. And we have this now. Uh, Lamplight City on Switch hasn't had any problems, so we're good. Alright. Alright. <clears throat>
Hey everybody, it's me, Much, and I got a plan. Let's make a game and take too much time in pre-production and putting in influencers. Who cares if the game runs terribly and is a buggy mess? We made The Witcher 3 so we can do no wrong! Cyberpunk 2077 will be flawless and run well and it will not be a terrible representation of any culture or gender. It won't be delayed and we won't have a terrible apology on a bright yellow background. Well, that's my plan. I'm much. Thanks for tuning in. Bye! Well, that was much as terrible plan. Thank you for that redemption, Nevik Link. That was <laughs> that was some nice shade at CG CD Projekt Red there. All right, uh, Electric Dragon has redeemed Hydrate, so I will. But does this game include threat of violence or consumption of alcohol? It has more than a threat of violence. It has violence, and it does have consumption of alcohol. So, I don't know. I would say Rosewater is easily a, a T for teen. There is one F-bomb, but that's my PG-13 F-bomb. There'll be time for trade and tail soon enough. Okay, so, save as. I wonder how uh, Rhubarb is going to like this, because Rhubarb does not seem to like accents too much. Uh, was that Cyberpunk 2077, Duke Nukem Forever, or Starfield? Har, har, har. I felt like you needed to hydrate following that epic plan. Yes, thank you. Wait, Star Citizen. Yeah. For now, I'll be needing some assistance. For now, I'll be needing some assistance. I, like I was about to start supper, seeing as I'm setting extra... Let's do that. For now, I'll be needing some assistance. For now, I'll be needing some assistance. Okay. I was about to start supper, seeing as I'm setting extra places, I could use a couple more hands. I was about to start supper, seeing as I'm setting an. E I was about to start supper, seeing as I'm setting extra places, I could use a couple more hands. I think I like the first one again as well. I was about to start supper, seeing as I'm setting extra places, I could use a couple more hands. Yeah. Maybe I like the second one better. Hmm. Seeing as I'm setting extra places, I could use a couple more hands. Yeah, I like that one better. So, Frank and take again. I guess it is a good thing that we did too. <laughs> I was about to start supper, seeing as I'm setting extra places, I could use a couple more hands. I was about to start supper. Seeing as I'm setting extra places, I could use a couple more hands. Okay, good. So... Now I'm wondering if I should probably check to see. Uh, do the actors intentionally leave blanks for Franken takes? They do not. No. I mean, if like in this case, it was two sentences in one line. So he just naturally paused for the period. But sometimes I've had to do Frank and takes where I've just found a natural pause in the line or have found like a, a hard P or a T sound or something that where you can cover the edit. I've had to get a little creative sometimes, but yeah. Ah, grand. Ah, grand. No, that's good. I like the second one a little better. Um... But Frank and takes are just in an emergency, or not an emergency, but like if if I just happen to like one bit better. Ah, grand. There's one. <laughs> There's. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Ah, very good. Okay. Got it. You can settle that question amongst yourselves later. You can There's one. No, he only did There's one. He only did one take of that line, but that's fine, because that's fine. <laughs> There's one.
You can settle that question amongst yourselves later. You can settle that question amongst yourselves later. Right. Uh, I believe it. What else? Yes. yes. Cool. Um. <clears throat> Apparently, Starfield isn't as buggy. That being said, the models still look Fallout quality. Interesting. <laughs> Starfield, uh. Yeah, didn't they. Isn't Starfield essentially just, like, the Outer Worlds again? I don't really know much about it, aside from that there's a lot of people in it. I don't. I think I only gave you one. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> no worries. There's one! Right. Okay. Well, look at that. We caught it. How nice. As a matter of fact, there is. As a matter of fact, there is. As a matter of fact, there is. <laughs> Ooh. As a matter of fact, there is. I'm trying to avoid <laughs> too too cartoony, but I mean, he wasn't cartoony. But sometimes there's a little too much uh, joy there. He's a little more somber. Sure. Sure. All right. Shall we? Sure. Saw Abe Goldfarb got some lines in it. That's neat. Yeah. There's a fiddly workaround you need to do if you got Game Pass and digital upgrade. Yeah, um, I was laughing because I saw uh, an article. I forget what website, but um, on Twitter there was an article that, like, credited every single actor in Starfield. And there's a lot of them. There's hundreds of, well, at least a hundred of them. And it was just like every voice actor you could possibly think of, including eight from Rose that are in Rosewater, so that's pretty cool. All right, shall we? All right. Whoa. <laughs> that's a bit much. All right, shall we? All right, shall we? Right. Shall we? It's gonna be the rest of ye. Make yourselves at home. The rest of ye. Make yourselves at home. I'll sound the gong when. He's a little hot. I hope he turned his game down because otherwise that's gonna be a problem. The rest of ye. Make yourselves at home. Uh, someone lied to me that you can beat Starfield without combat. Combat, which I thought was BS. Neat, we've gone from, we won't even credit programmers to we'll credit every single VA in my lifetime. Very happy, yes. Well, I mean, this is, uh, this wasn't an official, I mean, I assume that they must have gotten the information from Bethesda, but, uh, this was not, like, officially Bethesda's site or anything. I sound the gong when dinner's ready. I'll sound the gong when dinner's ready. Portal 12. Alright. So, I know I just started this, but let's see what it sounds like in game just to make sure that it's before I go any further. I want to make sure that it sounds okay, that the levels are okay. So, I'm just going to copy these over to my Rosewater uh, thing, <laughs> folder, as it, you, yes, copy over to my Rosewater folder, and I'm going to run it and listen to it in game, and check that the levels are good, and then if they are, I will continue, and if they aren't, then I only have a few things that I've edited that I'll need to uh, go back and fix. So let's run the game, which will run at normal speed because I have a nice new computer. Oh yeah, they got uh, 
they got Armin Shimmerman and a Na Visitor, which is pretty funny. Okay, we're back. Alright, that's going to be extra loud, but I don't care. Okay, uh, first of all, let's turn the music down because we don't want the placeholder music ruining things. Uh... There's a non-zero chance a character could be completely cut before release. That's true, too, yes, so you don't want to be too... Uh, too much. Is Rosewater ray tracing enabled? It is not, no. Uh, this will stop. Okay. I it sounds like it's gonna be fine level wise because Lola wasn't is some Alright. Alright, so let's see here. Knock knock. Look no how answer. Look how fast that's running. Look at that particle effect, and how wouldn't you smooth know it, it is. Locked. There's got to be a way inside. Was that you making all that racket? Oh. I haven't recorded this yet. What in God's green earth are you doing out here in this squall, young lady? Well, it's not, but how many are ye? Well then, go fetch them. You're sure? I won't have ye blow away on me porch. And ye'd be keeping an old man company. So long as you're not bandits or thieves, are ye? Then we'll be getting along just fine. Now, get your folk in here, quick, before we all get whisked to kingdom come. Okay, sounds good. Appreciate you letting us ride out the storm in here, sir. Mighty good of you. Right. Pleasure's all- I'm ch Yeah, 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 we haven't gotten this bit. So, let's see, uh... Are there beds in this spare room? There's one. Great, I'll take it. <laughs> Thought you have a- You can settle that question amongst yourselves later. For now, I'll be needing some assistance. I was about to start supper. Seeing as I'm set in extra places, I could use a couple more hands. Uh, I'd be glad to help. As would I. Ah, grand. Okay, cool. So, yeah, levels are fine. All right. Good. That's nice to actually hear in-game. Uh, love a good weather effect. Is that actually a particle effect? Yes, it is. It's, uh, it's a particle effect. I mean, it's a, it's a UI that I use for part I think it's a UI or is it an object it might be an object let me see I'm pretty it actually might be an object uh porch objects wind yes it is in fact an object it's an object that is a uh, particle effect the sprites are I mean it's it's 1280 by 720 and it's just the particle effect that I generated the sprites for um, with timeline effects which is where I do all my particle effects this back here also this dust storm back here and then of course all of the plants that are swinging and swaying and stuff I did with juice effects so a few a few things um, the eucalyptus -like plants look more drunk than blowing in the wind well yeah <laughs> Yeah, it is a baked particle effect. It's there's no there's no real time runtime particle effects in AGS. I'll sound the gong when supper's ready. Okay, so we did that. I'll sound the gong when supper's ready. Did I, I do that already? I'll sound the gong when dinner's ready. Oh, right, because like we changed it from dinner to supper, didn't we? Okay. Uh, where was I? Was it, 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 supper. Okay. So we did have we did change the line on the fly. So let's uh, go find that line because now I need to find it. Um, let's go back to let's go back to speech center here and just do it that way. Uh, file status missing or exists. Let's go back to actually hold on. It'll be uh, exists now because I just edited it. Yes, shut up. All right. Uh, file status. Get rid of missing. You can settle that. Hold on. Show duplicates. Uh, about to start supper. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You can settle that question among. He says amongst. So amongst yourselves later. And then we also have. I'll sound the gong when dinner's ready. 
I'll sound it right. We changed it to supper. Oh no! Index was out. Oh no! AGS hates me. Let's close it quickly before we die. Alright, so 12. Remember that? Boiling 12 is supper is ready. One of the first modding things I did was a dust effect like that. It was basically stolen from Morrowind, but still I was happy about it. Happy Sound Tier Friday. Yes, hello Edmunditor. AGS loves me, it does. It likes to crash when I double click on things in Speech Center sometimes. Um Yeah, I uh I, I've been looking towards like PS3 <laughs> era for particle effects. Like I loaded up Red Dead 1 and checked like what particle effects they did in the town and like dust flowing around and uh flies and stuff and I just I took that as inspiration for uh for what I did in uh, in Rosewater, like the town proper. Okay, uh, I'll sound the gong when dinner is ready. Okay, so we change this to supper. Supper's ready. Supper's ready. Sup. And sup. Uh, wait, where's the third one? I'll sound the gong when supper is ready. Here it is. Sup. Sup, up, up. Okay. So here we go. I sound the gong. I'll sound the gong when supper's ready. I'll sound the gong when supper's ready. Okay. Uh, I guess I like the first one better. It's more commanding. I'll sound the gong when supper's ready. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead. Here. I'll sound the gong when supper's ready. I'm sure you will. Boil 12. Replace that. Which means I have to replace... I'll go ahead and manually replace it right now because... I mean, you know what? I'm going to have to manually replace all these anyway, so it doesn't matter. When I look at this code, I feel like I'm looking at a tailor making a really bespoke suit. Yes, it's a it's a suit with lots of patches and threads sticking out and uh, generally unsuitable for wearing. <laughs> no pun intended. All right. I'll give you a clue. It's got potatoes in. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It's got potatoes in. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It's got potatoes in. <laughs> I love that cackle so much. Alright, uh, boil 15. The script literally just says cackle in brackets. And he ran with it. How many? He did two of them. Let's see which one. <laughs> The first one's great. <laughs> oh my god, that one sounds evil. I think the first one's better. Whose voice are we editing today? This is Roger Clark. Uh, probably best known as Arthur Morgan in Red Dead Redemption 2. Actually, he just uh, he's in a game that just came out called Fort Solace. He's the main character in that one, too. Um... <laughs> I love that. Um, but yeah, he was actually the very first session we had almost one year ago today. Uh, it was actually September 16th, but yeah. <laughs> very good. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, why ruin the mystique? But seriously, why ruin the mystique? Yeah, that's second. You'll find out. Second one's better. Time sure does fly. Yep. <laughs> I remember at the end of the session, he's like, "When will be? When will it be out?" And I was like, "I don't know. Maybe in six months." <laughs> but seriously, why ruin the mystique? Uh, actually, that <laughs> here's a oops. Here's a good one. Hey, uh, Captain Boylan, what you think Rosewater will be out in the next uh, in 
2022. You think Rosewater will be out in the next six months? <laughs> there you go. I actually thought the first was more nefarious. I can see why you were so excited. <laughs> this one is a little more... <laughs> Maybe that one's that one is better. Because <laughs> he is making a joke, so he's more like ah. Ha, ha. <laughs> All right, we'll go with that one. <laughs> and I need to now. I need to give him like a special cackling face. Oh wait, you're serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Yeah, you know, Rosewater will be out in, like, we just literally started voice recording in September 2022. It'll be out in early 2023. <laughs> Not a chance. Right. Okay, so I got this one already, right? But seriously, why ruin the mistake? You'll find out soon enough. You'll find out soon enough. All right, we'll go with that one. You'll find out soon enough. Got it. Uh, boil 18. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello, Nicholas Patton. Special cackling face. Yeah, I mean, I have uh, one of the one of the the things I have is smug. One of the the the. Uh, what are they called? Enums. One of the enums for the different facial expressions I have is smug, so I can give Captain Boylan a smug face. Actually, does he already? He might already have. Oops. <laughs> this is what I've been working on. Uh, he might already have one, because I think I gave him one. Uh, let's look. Where is he? Captain Boylan speaking head normal. Ah, he does. He does have one. So look, there you go. When he cackles, he'll go. Rah! Perfect. Look at that. I thought of everything. <laughs> Maybe you can put it out in early access with half the plot, seventy-five percent missing voice acting, and constant crashes. Uh, well, that's uh, that's how my alpha build was. So I could have put the alpha build out as as uh, early access. You'll find out soon enough. Oh. That were a gift from an old friend who spent a few years sailing out of Shanghai. Ah, oh, that were a gift from an old friend who spent a few years sailing out of Shanghai. Yeah, that's better. Is that... Also, we're going to have to change that to O. Oh. Ah, oh, that were a gift from an old friend who spent a few years sailing out of Shanghai. Okay. Um... Go to dialogues. Actually, I'll just do it from here. File status missing. Show duplicates. Boylan's got 220 lines, so that's why it's 60 minutes. We spent a few years sailing out of. Change of to O. Out of Shanghai. Make his dialogue more colloquial. Ah, oh, that were a gift from an old friend who spent a few years sailing out of Shanghai. Right. There's your release date clip. Ha ha ha, you'll find out soon enough. Oh my god, that's brilliant. I never even thought of that. <laughs> that's great. Very good between the borders. Very good. Only some characters have this enum value implemented. Actually, no, you're right. Uh, so the enum value is only for the, f the six main companions because they obviously they change their facial expressions constantly throughout the whole game. Uh, but for NPCs, I have I just do it manually whenever it happens, so I don't I don't do it because I do have it as a code in my uh, my emotions module. Is that from whereabouts ye hail yourself, Mister Luo? Am I saying that right? Great. Is that from whereabouts ye hail yourself, Mister Luo? Ah. Ah. Is that from whereabouts ye hail yourself, Mr. Luo? <clears throat> so yeah, Harley, Jake, Nadine, Lola, Phil, and Danny all have 
those num enums for them. What page are we on? We're still on page one? No, we're on page two. Okay, cool. Two of eleven. <laughs> I'm not gonna get through all this, but it's fine. Ah, me? Oh no. Ah. Ah. First ah is better. Just an ah of understanding. Ah, I see. Ah. Where did all these potatoes come from? Suppose the dust was kicking up already when ye arrived, so ye didn't see? Does that mean, is there a big potato field out back? Is that what that means? Okay, all right. Uh, suppose the dust was kicking up already when ye arrived, so ye didn't see? They're from me own fields, just yonder. They're from me own fields, just yonder. Okay, first one's better. Uh, suppose the dust was kicking up already when ye arrived, so ye didn't see. They're from me own fields, just yonder. Your emotions, Macho, what are you, an emergency medical hologram? <laughs> Do I look like Robert Picardo? I'm surprised he's not in Starfield. They're from me own fields, just yonder. Just an old retired sea dog making do. Just an old retired sea dog making do. I just thank God me crops have fared so well. Just an old retired sea dog making do. Just an old retired sea dog making do. Yeah, that dog was a little hot, so I'm going to use the second. I'm a little worried now about how the shouty clips are going to be, but I think he turned his gain down for those, so... Just an old retired sea dog making do. Hopefully those won't be... those will be fine. It seems like, just looking at the waveform, it looks like it's pretty consistent all the way through, so I don't think we're going to necessarily have to deal with any issues with too hot... Question. When splicing together voice recordings from different points, how do you edit them to make both sound like they sound naturally together? Well, Nicholas Patton, what you're asking about is what I described earlier as Franken-takes, uh, which is when you take two takes and you splice them together. I only do that in very certain occasions, like if it's a line that has two sentences and I like the delivery of one sentence in one take and I like the delivery of the second sentence in the second take, I'll splice those two together. And usually it's at a, at a point where... Let's see. Just an old retired sea dog making do. Just an old retired sea dog making do. See. I just thank God me crops have fared so well. I just thank God me crops have fared so well. well let's take this one. I just thank God me crops have fared so well. If I find a, an example up ahead, I'll show you how I do it. I just thank God me crops have fared so well. Uh, boil 26. Oh, it's been ages. Oh, it's been ages. Trouble with getting older is, every year... Oh, it's been ages. Trouble with getting older is, every year ye fewer friends to invite. Trouble with getting older is, every year ye fewer friends to invite. Having ye all here is a real treat. Okay, so let's use this as an example. Not that I'm going to actually Franken take, but I this is a good clip. So like here. Trouble with getting older is, every year ye fewer friends to invite. So let's take one. Trouble with getting older is, every year ye fewer friends to invite. So let's say I'm like, oh, I like the every year from this one. So the natural pause point is here. So I'll just splice here at the pause point and we'll listen to it now. 
Trouble with getting older is, every year ye fewer friends to invite. You know, actually that sounds fine, so <laughs> let's go ahead and Frank and take that. Trouble with getting older is, every year ye fewer friends to invite. So, there you go. Um, he's very front about his dope operation. <laughs> he doesn't have a dope operation. And yeah, that, uh, that line's a little too real, isn't it? Having you all here is a real treat. I like that. Having you all here is a real treat. Oh, I like that first one. Having you all here is a real treat. Boil 29. So, um, not to spoil too much, but Captain Boylan is obviously, he's a retired sea captain. He lives alone in a big old farmhouse that they stay in during a, a storm. And uh, he's got some, some personal demons that you can help him with. So, Well, this should be plenty. Thank you. Well, this should be plenty. Thank you. So he's a he's a bit of a troubled soul. Well, this should be plenty. Thank you. Although he has a sort of he's a very friendly, jolly veneer, but it wouldn't be an adventure game if you didn't help him out. Why not go rest up? I'll sound the gong when supper's ready. Why not go rest up? I'll sound the gong when supper's ready. Okay. First one's better because of the pause. Why not go rest up? I'll sound the gong when supper's ready. Why not go rest up? I'll sound the gong when supper's ready. This character is a little boothy, uh, <laughs> by which I mean you can kind of hear the echo in the booth a little bit, but. It's not a huge problem. Okay. Well, the important thing is, we're enjoying each other's company right here and now. Well, the important thing is, we're enjoying each other's company right here and now. Okay, see, here's a Franken take. I like his delivery of the we're enjoying each other's company in the second take, so. We're enjoying each other's company right here and now. Well, the important thing is, we're enjoying each other's company. So, here we go. Well, the important thing is, we're enjoying each other's company right here and now. There you go. Well, the important thing is, we're enjoying each other's company right here and now. There you go. Uh, a gong? Yeah, he has a dinner gong <laughs> in the in the kitchen. See, if this was a random game, I'd assume this sea dog being friendly means he has nefarious plans for the party, but you wrote this, so he might just be friendly. It happens. Yeah, no, he doesn't he doesn't have nefarious plans. This is a this is a, a character to be to be pitied and helped, not an evil, horrible man living alone. <laughs> That's too cliche. Been roughing it then. Been roughing it then? And roughing it then? If this was like The Walking Dead, then yeah, I would be like, well, Captain Boylan is uh, eating human flesh and he's going to kill all of you. <laughs> but that's that's not that's not how it goes. Where are ye folks headed? Where are ye folks headed? Yeah. Where are ye folks headed? Ah, I used to sail out of there. Ah, I used to sail out of there. Hmm. I can't say the name rings a bell. Hmm. I... Ah, I used to sail out of there. Ah, I used to sail out of there.
Hmm. I can't say the name rings a bell. Hmm. I can't say the name rings a bell. Is he a friend of yours? Is he a friend of yours? Hmm. I can't say the name rings a bell. I want a little bit more of a pause there and then get rid of his... <laughs> Insert sets. No, that's too much. 0 0.2. Hmm. I can't say the name rings a bell. Do you end up providing any visual references or wider context to the VAs for their performance? Sometimes. I mean, I usually give them a character breakdown, a very basic character breakdown before we start. Um, I send them the scripts in advance. Sometimes I include character art, but sometimes they see it, sometimes they don't. Um, but I generally give them like a physical description and tell them how old they are and, you know, give them their, their sort of backstory and stuff like that. So, and like if there's any references, like Roger plays another character who's a thug and I told him, I don't want him to sound like Arthur Morgan, even though he's like a cowboy thug. But I want him to th think of more like... I was like, have you ever seen Deadwood? And he was like, sure. And I said, well, think of this one character from Deadwood, but more of like a dumb thug. And he was like, oh, okay, perfect. So. Is he a friend of yours? So that's, that's... There's different ways of doing it. Is he a friend of yours? My favorite was uh, Sissy Jones, one of the characters I told her you know she's kind of like a hippie and she's very like a met like a like a hippie art teacher and she's like so she's like a kindergarten teacher on acid and i said yeah perfect kindergarten teacher on acid and that's what guided her performance <laughs> so it's always part of the fun is uh is is figuring out the voice on the fly Aye, for many a year, I used to captain a whaler. Aye, for many a year, I used to captain a whaler. I like the first one, it's more character. Aye, for many a year, I used to captain a whaler. <clears throat> uh, fair few. A fair few. I could tell you about the largest beast. Oh gosh. A fair few. <laughs> there's a story he tells, and there's two versions of it, and I had him improvise because one of them he tells at the dinner table, and then the other one you can ask, you can have him tell it at the dinner table, and then you can, but you can also say, let's hear it later, and he tells it to you later after he's been drinking. So there's a regular version, and then there's a drunk version. I could tell you about the largest beast we ever snared. The one what took me leg. <laughs> I could tell you about the largest beast we ever snared. The one what took me leg. Alright, second second leg. First description. So, another Franken take. I could tell you about the largest beast we ever snared. The one what took me leg. <laughs> I love that. I could tell you about the largest beast we ever snared. The one what took me leg. Alright. Save that. Uh. If you ask me, and you did, the heart of the city's the wharf. If you ask me, and you did, the heart of the city's the wharf. Uh, first one's great. If you ask me, and you did, the heart of the city's the wharf. He's wistful. If you ask me, and you did, the heart right. of the city's the wharf. You'll not see a more electric mix of folk Elect anywhere else. Eclectic. Eclectic? Okay, cool, cool. Let me fix that. Electic. <laughs> uh, uh, 
13. Okay. Oh, good. This is all in the same dialogue, of course. More I click. Oh, I did fix it. Okay, good. You'll not see a more eclectic mix of folk anywhere else. <laughs> You'll not see a more eclectic mix of folk anywhere else. Sounds like he's... Yeah, okay, let's keep that. You'll not see a more eclectic mix of folk anywhere else. That's too... Actually, that's too excited. He doesn't get that excited. <laughs> You'll not see that. You'll coming. not see a more eclectic mix of folk anywhere else. Sounds like he's saying Nazi, but he's not. See? Ah. <laughs> it's terrible. <clears throat> okay. Uh, boil 44. Well, I'm flattered, Miss Leisure. Leger, right? Well, I'm flattered, Miss Leger. Well, I'm flattered, Miss Leger. Oh. Well, I'm flattered, Miss Leger. <laughs> Although I can assure ye there's nothing much exciting about this old sea dog. Although, I can assure ye there's nothing much exciting about this old sea dog. At least not nowadays. At least not- I like that one. Although, I can assure ye there's nothing much exciting about this old sea dog. <laughs> he went very Disney Pirates, but I like it. Although, I can assure ye there's nothing much exciting about this old sea dog. You're fond of me lobster, aren't you? You're fond of me lobster! Although, I can assure ye there's nothing much exciting about this old sea dog. Okay. At least not nowadays. At least not nowadays. That first one's good. At least not nowadays. I find the sight reading confidence of these VAs impressive. On a whim, I put together some VA for a request, never submitted it. I brought nothing to the roll. And two days and like 30 takes later, there were like, there were like two barely passable takes. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, part of the, part of the job of a voice actor is to be able to sight read. It's, I mean, like I say, I send the scripts early, but a lot of the times the sort of expect expectation in the industry is that they get the script like right there and then um and i mean i noticed like with some actors they read the script ahead of time other actors were, were busy and like they didn't have a chance to so they they didn't you know uh so we we workshopped it on the day but yeah i mean that's the beauty of the of acting really it's like you once you understand the character you read the line and you sort of just go with it you know and and once you have a grasp of the character you can act the line so yeah it's it's very impressive it's a very it's a very impressive skill to have but again that's like part of the job so what have we got here ah uh, yeah okay i'll do a, i'll do a sober and a drunk version i think i think that would be best if that suits you guys okay yeah <laughs> i think so yeah you're right yeah good call yeah i think i Great. Sure. Not blind drunk. Okay. <laughs> kind of Captain Quint on in Jaws. <laughs> there you go. See, kind of uh, Captain Quint in Jaws. <laughs> it was back in twenty. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh. Okay. So this is going to be the sober version. It was back in 25. We were circling a lagoon off the coast of New Spain. <laughs> That's a great start. 
It was back in 25. We were circling a lagoon off the coast of New Spain. We were on the point of giving up, and suddenly, a great monster breaches off the port bow. She was the biggest I'd ever seen. I shouted the order to launch the whale boats in pursuit. Me men put all their backs and all their hearts into rowing, and soon we was on her. All around, the water was churning white with foam. The beast surfaced again, so close we nearly capsized. But the harpooner had steady legs and a steadier aim on him, and he struck true. Then the battle began. Oh, how she thrashed and reared. Somehow the rope got wrapped round me leg and pulled and <laughs> tore almost clean through. I thought I was a goner for sure, but it wasn't over yet. At least, the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was a goner for sure, but it wasn't over yet. At last, the beast tired out. We hauled her in just as it was getting dark. Cutting her up was no easy job. She was fifty foot if she was an inch. Cutting her up was no easy job. She was fifty foot if she was an inch. Got a good sum for all that oil and blubber. Got a good sum for all... Okay, so rather than sit through all this many times, I'm going to, uh... It was back in 25. All right, I'm going to cut this whole file now. Cut what we've already done. And I'm going to save it. And I'm going to skip ahead and come back to this because it is a lot of lines and it's going to be a lot of takes. And rather than spend the rest of the stream on this, I'll come back to it after. Okay. Do you oh. want drunk and sober versions? Of See y'all in the morning. See y'all in the morning. Okay, so where we got here? I see. Well, now, we've had some drinks and music. How about a tail or two? Okay, let's go back to over here. Would you care to join me in the library? Okay, cool. Okay. Do you but want drunk and sober versions of these two, or is it... Okay, cool. <laughs> I doubt you'd feel that way if... What was that? If you met one. Oh, cool, okay. I doubt you'd... If you meet one. Oh, that's, a, that's also a typo. Did I fix that one? Uh, 15, 15, 15, I doubt that would, yeah, I did fix that, okay. <laughs> That's the way to tell a story. All right, and then I lost my leg, but back to the good part! <laughs> I doubt you'd feel that way if, what was, if you met one. Oh, cool, okay. I doubt you'd feel that way if you'd met one yourself, Missy. I doubt you'd feel that way if you met one yourself, Missy. Okay. I doubt you'd feel that way if you met one yourself, Missy. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright. Aye, fair enough. Aye, fair enough. Ah, no, that... Aye, fair enough. Okay. Uh, six, six. Six, six, six. Ah, no, that was a fine meal. No, that was a fine meal. <laughs> and a fine meal should be followed. That was a fine meal. Arr, arr. <laughs> like when he leans into it. Ah, no, that was a fine meal. Ah, no, that was a fine meal. Nice. And a fine meal should be followed by some fine rum and conversation. And a fine meal should be followed by some fine rum and conversation. Would you care to join? <laughs> I 
And a fine meal should be followed by some fine rum and conversation. Okay. Uh, part 68. This is so fun, listening to this guy come to life after years of not hearing him. <laughs> Would you care to join me in the library? Would you care to join me in the library? I think. Would you care to join me in the library? Actually, I think I like the other one better. This is more like a question. Would you care to join me in the library? Yeah. Would you care to join me in the library? The library where I murder all of my dinner guests? No, I'm kidding. That's not. Would you care to join me in the library? What, 69? 69, nice. <laughs> and... I think this calls for another round. I think this calls for another round! <laughs> there we go. That's the one. I think this calls for another round! I think this calls for another round! A new dinner and a trip to the library was too good to be true? No, it's not It's not too good to be true. He just tells a story and then goes to sleep. I see. Well, no. We've had some drinks and music. How about a tale or two? Well, no. We've had some drinks and music. How about a tale or two? I owe ye one, after all. I owe ye one, after all. And with that, I'll leave ye for the night. And with... I owe ye one, after all. I owe ye one, after all. Mm, it's starting to get a little hot. I owe ye one, after all. Two. Did I ask him to go back and do that other one? Ah, it's been a grand evening. But this old salt needs his beauty. See y'all in the morning. See y'all in the morning. Ah, yes, yes. So Cranach is an old friend then. Okay, never mind. Uh, okay, where are we going here? And with that. I'll leave ye for the night. I owe ye one after all. Well, no. We've had some drinks and music. How about a tale or two? Well, no. We've had some drinks and music. How about a tale or two? I owe ye one after all. Well, no. We've had some drinks and music. How about a tale or two? Well, no. We've had some drinks and music. How about a tale or two? That was a bad direction on my part. It's not quite how I envisioned that line, but it's fine. Well, no. We've had some drinks and music. How about a tale or two? Drinks, music, tales. Oh, hello, Decaf Jedi. Welcome. Going to head out. Thanks for streaming. Have a good weekend, folks. Have a good weekend, Dave. Or thank you for stopping by. All right. Uh, how about a tale or two? I owe, I owe you one, one after all. Right. And with that. I owe you. And with that, I leave you for the night. And with that, I leave you for the night. There we go. Ah, it's been a grand evening. All right. Oops. And with that, I'll leave ye for the night. Okay. Whoops. Damn it. Why is my mouse behaving? Misbehaving. It's mouse behaving. Horror, 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 horror. Hello, Rocky Johan. Howdy do. Dowdy. Howdy dowdy. Yes. Howdy dowdy indeed. And with that, I'll leave ye for the night. Well, in 73. Alright. 
Arr, it's been a grand evening. Did he say R? Ah, it's been a grand huh. evening. He did. Ah, it's been a grand evening. <laughs> but this old salt needs his beauty sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh. Ah, it's been a grand evening. Okay. Uh, boil seventy four. It's been a grand evening. But this old salt needs his beauty sleep. But this old salt needs his beauty sleep. Stay up late as he like. All I ask is he. But this old salt needs his beauty sleep. That's better. Boil seventy-five. Great. Now I just got whalers on the moon stuck in my head. I don't... I'm not familiar with that. What is that? Stay up late as ye like. All I ask is ye not disturb me in my court. You're right bastard when startled. I'm not a light sleeper, but... <laughs> Stay up late as ye like. All I ask is ye not disturb me in my quarters. Stay up late as ye like. All I ask is ye not disturb me in my quarters. Stay up late as ye like. All I ask is ye not disturb me in my quarters. Okay, we're gonna do a Frank and take on this one because he stay up late as he like. Oh. He stumbled over stay up late as he like. All I ask is ye not disturb me. Stay up late as he like. All I ask is ye not disturb me in my quarters. So let's see here. So let's how come late as he like. All I ask is ye not disturb me in my quarters. Okay. Stay up late as he like. All right. So let's try. Stay up late as he like. All I ask is, do not disturb me in me. Stay up late as he like. Okay, so that if we start from here, all I ask, all I, all I, all I ask is he not disturb me in me quarters. All I ask, all I ask is he not. Okay, so we'll paste at the beginning. We will add some silence to make an artificial pause, and that should hopefully sound good and natural, like he did it all in one. Stay up late as he like. All I ask is he not disturb me in me quarters. There we go. Stay up late as he like. All I ask is he not disturb me in me quarters. There we go. There's a lot of whimsy here. Playful old sailor. Well, yeah, in this in this scene in particular, he's he's a little tipsy, so he's a bit whimsical. The old traditional space shanty. Oh, it's from Futurama where there's a Disney-esque set of animatronic whalers on the moon. Oh, yeah, now I remember that. I, that's It's been a long time, but yes. We're whalers on the moon or something like that. Yeah, we carry a harpoon, but there ain't no whales, so we tell tall tales. We're wh yeah, 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 now I remember. Now I remember. <laughs> I guess he is kind of like that, isn't he? I'm not a light sleeper, but I can be a right bastard when startled. <laughs> I'm not a light sleeper, but I can be a right bastard when startled. <laughs> I like See that See y'all in the morning. Bit, bit more of a warning than, uh, ha ha ha, I'm such a bastard. I'll kill you if you wake me up, is what he's saying. No, see, if it was a Sierra game... If it was a Sierra game, he would kill you if you went into his room and he was asleep and you woke him up, but it's not. So. I'm not a light sleeper, but I can be a right bastard when startled. And then Roberta's face would pop up and go, Sorry, you, uh, you disturbed the captain and now you're dead. <laughs> Take that. See y'all in the morning. See y'all in the morning. One. See y'all in the morning. He did warn you he needed his beauty sleep. Yeah, exactly. Or he's like a monster. He's secretly a monster. And then when you wake him up, he's like... He's a werewolf or something. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Cool. Uh, so is what is he? Is he half asleep, or is it? Are he hypnotized, or? Oh, this is starting to get a little spoilery. 
Okay, okay. All right. His sprite immediately springs out of bed, followed by the da 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 musical sting from King's Quest Two. Is it sad that I knew exactly how to read that when I saw that written? You tell me. I can picture him also waving. Uh, sometimes those Sierra deaths had far more effort than you'd expect. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Decap Jedi. Uh, I've played too many Sierra games. Maybe I can have him spring out of bed and have Girl in the Tower play, and then you die. <laughs> Let's not do that, that's stupid. Kranik! God forgive me. Kranik! God forgive me. Oh boy. The dome. Second one's better. Kranik! God forgive me. Kranik! God forgive me. Okay. I'm gonna mute. Uh, I'm gonna mute because these lead next bits are a tiny bit spoilery. So I'm gonna mute and put on some. Uh, actually, I'm gonna mute the desktop audio, and I'm just gonna uh, figure out some other way to do this because you're probably gonna hear it through my headphones and a little echo. Uh, so let's take a little break, and I'll be right back. Tell me, what is it you want out of life? Fortune, glory, the thrill of adventure. I'm offering you a chance at all three. You just need to do me one small favor. You've something of a reputation, you know. Clever, resourceful, maybe a little dangerous. I do hope that's accurate. The path won't be straightforward. You'll encounter obstacles along the way. Perhaps even some other dangerous people. You'll need some help. But I assure you, the rewards far outweigh the risks. You will be richer than you ever thought possible. If you can deliver. I'll be in touch. Okay, I'm back. Um, so the rest of this is actually, uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty spoilery. So uh, maybe I'll stop editing Boil It now. <laughs> do this. I could just stop the stream. Actually, what I'll do is this. I will. Uh, let's 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 do a little see it in action sort of thing. Let's go ahead and uh, go into Rhubarb. So part of me wants to see the Disco Elysium door opening machine dialogue followed by a montage of Grindelwald door opening animations. Oh boy. Alright, let's go ahead and copy all of these, put them into the uh, Rosewater speech folder yet again. Place all of those. And then we'll go back to rhubarb and lip sync the suckers. 
So now we get to sit here and watch as it... You know, I haven't actually lip-synced with my new PC. I wonder if it runs any faster. It seems to be pretty standard. That's fine. So a little story about lip-sync. Uh, back in the day, when I was doing Lamplight City, I was using a program called Pamela, in which you had to load the uh, WAV file, or the... Yeah, because it only recognized WAV files. So this was before I even converted them. You loaded the WAV file, you typed out the text, it would generate the phonemes, and then you would drag them along the waveform to position them correctly so that you could lip sync the audio. And that's how I did all 4,000, however many lines there were, uh, of synced dialogue for the portraits in Lamplight City. And that's why it took me three months to do, and that's why I burned myself out with crunch for Lamplight City. This time around, since I'm not doing portraits, I'm using a program called Rhubarb, which was used in Thimbleweed Park, and uh, Return to Monkey Island, and several other games. And as you can see here, all you have to do is run a batch file, and it scans your, your, uh, your augs, your augvorbis files, and it auto-generates the phonemes into text files, which the AGS then reads and assigns the phonemes to the particular uh, times. It, it makes text files that have timestamps and the, and the phoneme shape that should be played at that particular timestamp. And then AGS reads that and it plays, it syncs the animation to the audio file using that. So yes, as you can see, the process is pretty much completely automated. I just have to sit here and watch as the little meters fill up. And so I am, I am now lip-syncing all of these. Well, the, the computer is lip-syncing them all. So it takes a fraction of the time that it would take with Pamela because with Pamela, I was getting like maybe 20 lines done an hour, uh, which is why it took a very long time. So right now we're on uh, 35. How many do we have? 32? Yeah. I mean, it's going to take a little bit, but it takes... How many lines is this? 67. 67. So with Pamela, that would have taken me probably about four hours to lip sync. Now it takes about five minutes. So, hooray for for rhubarb. <laughs> I tried using rhubarb with Lamplight City, but unfortunately, like, it's really good. But it just didn't look right with the portraits. Some of the mouth movements were a little off. Now you can do 100 lines while eating a sandwich. That's right. I can. Often I do. <laughs> I leave it going, and then I come back. I'm like, oh, good, it finished. Um, so, yeah. We're at 45. Might take a little more than five minutes. So yeah, it's a great, it's a great little tool. It's really nice. So, yes. So while we sit here and wait for it to finish lip syncing, anybody uh, got any plans for the weekend? Any, any, anything cool? I'm actually going to go out tomorrow for the first time on a weekend in a while. I don't think I've left my house in like two or three weeks. That's pretty bad. I'm a hermit. The pandemic life never left. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna go somewhere. I don't really do things. I also leave my house only like twice a month. Well, then I'm glad to know I'm not the only one. <laughs> Although it is, cabin fever is a very real thing. It's, it's healthy to get out. I was a hermit even before COVID. Yeah, me too, me too. But also my partner used to work weekends and she just got fired from her weekend job. So now she has weekends free. This is the first weekend she'll have had free 
without having taken time off in like 17 years. So now we can do weekends, which is great. So that's a big life change. I've been trying to pick up weather satellites lately, though. That's interesting to me anyway. Well, you know, as long as it's a hobby and it interests you, it's a way to pass the time. I will be packing for my holiday. Oh, this weekend's a long... Well, I mean, I know you're in the UK, obviously, by your name. <laughs> Electric Dragon. But uh, it just occurred to me that this is a long weekend. It's Labor Day weekend here in the US. So maybe I'll take Monday off, but probably not. All right, here we go. I've got them all. Now let's move these over to the Rosewater compiled windows sync blam there they go and now we go into AGS and we'll just go ahead and do a mass because I'm gonna finish these soon I'm just gonna replace all of Boylan Head say custom with Boylan Head say sync in the project yes and now we wait for a moment while that do, does the mass find and replace it's gonna be about 200 and something li actually more because there's duplicates Four hundred and forty-five occurrences. Okay. Record everyone saying this line. I did, I think. Alright, let's go check out what we've got for Captain Boylan. We're not going to get to the spoilery bits because obviously that's... Uh, That sky is bad news. No answer. And wouldn't you know it, it's locked. There's got to be a way inside. Was that you making all that racket? What in God's green earth are you doing out here in this squall, young lady? Well, it's not, but how many are ye? Well then, go fetch them. You're sure? I won't have ye blow away on me porch. And ye'll be keeping an old man company. So long as you're not bandits or thieves, are ye? Then we'll be getting along just fine. Now, get your folk in here quick, before we all get whisked to kingdom come. Appreciate you letting us... So, Captain Boylan, would that be a sea captain? Aye. We're a long way from water. What brought you out here? There'll be time for trading tales soon enough. For now, I'll be needing some assistance. I was about to start supper. Seeing as I'm setting extra places, I could use a couple more hands. Uh, I'd be glad to help. As would I. Ah, grand. Could you use another? Sure. All right, shall we? The rest of ye, make yourselves at home. I'll sound the gong when supper's ready. What are we helping you prepare, anyway? I'll give you a clue. It's got potatoes in. <laughs> but seriously, why ruin the mystique? You'll find out soon enough.
Sorry, I forgot to uh, turn my mic back on after I after the game started. We won't tell anybody. Straight up bilboing, bjorning this guy. What are you doing out here? Come in. There's like six of us. Lead with that next time. Highlight my message. Oh, you didn't have to redeem that. Sorry, thing. Seen as ten times better knowing you probably rotoscoped yourself peeling a potato. I actually did rotoscope myself peeling a potato. <laughs> I 100% rotoscoped myself feeling a potato between the borders. Well, well spotted. All right. So anyway, what I was saying before, because I was muted, was that I want to, um, uh, I want to change his his view to to smug when he cackles and then leave a little pause. Um. So yes. Wait, doesn't he? Doesn't he have an eye like before? Is that a second eye? Hold on. Uh, Captain Kitchen. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, no, it's there. Eye? Did I not? Does that not exist? I thought it did. No, it is missing. Is it just not in the script? Oh, you know what? I bet it's because it's in the room script. Farmhouse foyer, farmhouse library, farmhouse... Yep, it is. It absolutely is. Okay, it's later in the script, so I haven't... Uh, I haven't edited it yet. Okay, let's, uh, let's try that again. So let's see... Let's see his smug face when he cackles now. <laughs> And, okay, now I'm back. All right, so let's uh, load up again. 1445, where's this? All oh, right, of course, the same thing. Skip ahead here. We're grateful for your hospitality. Anything we can help with? As a matter of fact, there is. I was about to start supper. Seeing as I'm setting extra places, I could use a couple more hands. Uh, I'd okay. be glad. As would I. Ah! Could you use another? Sure. All right. Shall we? The rest of ye? I'll. Thank you, DJ Larry Parker. All right, so. What are we helping you prepare, anyway? I'll give you a clue. It's got potatoes in it. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, why ruin the mistake? You'll find out soon enough. Ah, oh, that were a gift from an old friend who spent a few years sailing out of Shanghai. Is that from whereabouts ye hail yourself, Mr. Lu? Ah. Uh. How many more you got to peel? Well, this should be plenty. Thank you. Why not go rest up? I'll sound the gong when supper's ready. Blah, blah, blah. Just want to make sure this works. There he is. All right. Let's go wander around. Get the dinner scene, get the after dinner scene. <laughs> Look at all his crap. Oh no! Why did that stop? Oh, because. Right, okay. Um, yeah, this is not relevant because I don't have dynamic shadows on, so I don't know why I still had that. Well, whatever. Is this a sneak peek? This is more I'm just testing to see that all of the stuff I just imported sounds good. <laughs>
The is it three or four color shading looks even better in situ than in the image editor? You mean in Photoshop? The three color shading on the sprites, you mean? Yeah, it's three c it's three color shadings on the sprites. But they blend well into the backgrounds. Yeah, there we go. All right. Um, the acting is on point. Well, I'm glad you think so. I'm very glad you think so, actually. <laughs> Oh, look, it's Miss Johnson. There you are. Yep. Can you see anything through that spyglass? Just the wagon. Wanted to make sure it's standing up to the storm. And is it? Seems to be. Excuse me, won't you? So aloof. I'm just waiting out here. Oh. <laughs> they don't have sprites yet. And this lid is wrong, but it doesn't matter. Gong. Okay. Hydrate. All right. Look at all these people sitting at this, standing at this table. He's the only one that's sitting Not right bad. now. The very soul of rustic simplicity. It's quite simple and uh, unadorned. No adornment needed. My compliments to the kitchen. But then I'm not exactly impartial. Been roughing it then? Where are ye folks headed? Ah, I used to sail out of there. Since you know the city, have you got any advice for a first time visitor? <sighs> if ye ask me, and you did, the heart of the city's the wharf. You'll not see a more eclectic mix of folk anywhere else. Aye, for many a year. I used to captain a whaler. A fair few. I could tell ye about the largest beast we ever snared. The one what took me leg. Sounds interesting, but maybe we could hear it after dinner? Aye, fair enough. Ah, <sighs> no, that was a fine meal. And a fine meal should be followed by some fine rum and conversation. Would you care to join me in the library? I'm going to retire. Sounds like the storm's died down, so I'm bunking in the wagon. I'm sure. See y'all bright and early. Yeah, there we go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Damn, where'd you say this stuff came from? Okay, we're... Oops. <laughs> I haven't animated all that yet. So Phil plays a little song, which we don't hear right now because the music volume is off, and I just realized that the lighting on the couch is wrong, too. He needs to be below the lighting, but he's also going to be sitting, so that's something else I need to take care of. Goodness, that was beautiful. I think this calls for another round. Here, here. Well, now, we've had some drinks and music. How about a tale or two? I owe you one after all. Go on then, tell us. And with that, <laughs> for the night. Stay up late as ye like. All I ask is ye not disturb me in me quarters. I'm not a light sleeper, but I can be a right bastard when startled. See y'all in the morning. Well, he walked away. Okay. Um, he is a little hot, but hopefully that's not too big a thing. Now I just had the GK point jingle go off in my head. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to call it a stream because I still have other stuff to edit and I've been going for a little, about two hours now. And, uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me turn this back down here. But thank you all for joining me. Uh, have a nice weekend. Let's see if anybody else is, uh, streaming that we can raid. Uh, oh, Cressup. Cressup is playing Baldur's Gate 3. Let's go raid Cressup. So...
thank you all. Um, and yeah, I will see you next Wednesday for Wild West Wednesday. Yeehaw! And happy September. Oh my god, it's September. Goodbye.